Yo guys, what's up? It's me, Slimest, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can stream your Xbox One to your tablet or phone and play with on-screen controls. Alright guys, so like I said, this video is going to be how to stream your Xbox One console to your iPhone or iPad. Um, and use on-screen controls. So if you don't know what on-screen controls are, they are pretty much just touchscreen controls. So like if you see in the background footage how I, there is touchscreen controls on my tablet and I am playing my Xbox while well, I'm playing Minecraft, but I'm playing it on my Xbox. Um, so this is pretty much for if you are like playing your Xbox on the go. And so for instance, like here, I don't really know, you're at someone else's house, but you wanna play your Xbox at your house. Um, so you could just stream it to your phone, but if you were to use the normal Xbox app, which there is a normal app that you could use with streaming, there is no on-screen control support, so you'd have to bring a controller with you, which honestly most people don't bring a controller with them everywhere they go, so this is way more convenient just to play with on-screen controls. Another good thing about this is that it is free, um, free with ads anyways. The ads are not that bad, but um, it's free with ads. If you didn't know, I made a video on this a couple, I think like a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. I don't know how long ago it was to be honest, but I made another video on this pretty much same thing, but I was using OneCast and that is another app on the app store, but that costs $12, pretty expensive to use. And like I said, obviously this one is free, so it's kind of better to be honest. Um, but there's also a ad free version on this app, which is $3, which is, a quarter of the price of one cast so yeah i just thought about make i just thought i should make a video about this all right guys so the first thing you're gonna want to do to use this is well make sure you have a wi-fi connection a solid wi-fi connection on both your xbox at your house or wherever your xbox is located and also on your phone tablet whatever you're using to play on so you're going to need a decent uh, Wi-Fi connection and a also a stable connection. Uh, you can use cellular data, I think, but it would have to be pretty fast. Then the second thing you're going to want to do is um, this is going to be before you go anywhere. You're going to want to get on your Xbox One to do the setup. All right, guys. So obviously, first things first, you're going to want to turn your Xbox on and grab your controller. Right. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of controller you have or whatever. Yeah, and then you're just going to want to go and sign in. So I'm signing in on my Slimest account right here. Um, and I'm recording with my phone right now, so that's why it's kind of shaky. And you're just going to want to press the home button and go over to your settings. Next, you're going to want to go down to devices and connections. I accidentally went to system here and I was looking for it. Couldn't find it. I went, go down to device and connections and go ahead and click remote features. Then you're just going to want to make sure that the checkbox on the box it box is there um under enable remote features and this will allow you to actually stream your console then you're just going to want to go back on your tablet or phone whatever you're going to be streaming to all right guys so for this demonstration i'm just going to be using my ipad here it doesn't matter if you use a ipad or iphone but i do believe you have to use an ios device um, but then what you're going to want to do is go to the app store and search up xb space stream and it's gonna be this app right here. Go ahead and download it. Uh, I already had it downloaded before I uninstalled it for this video. Um, it is free though, like I said, free with ads. And then you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and wait for it to download. It's not that big of an install. And then you're just gonna to wanna to go and launch it. It's gonna ask you to plug in a controller. Just click learn more and then go ahead and exit back out of that. Yeah, you don't, like I said, you don't need a controller. It uses on-screen controls. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and click on options. Then under options, you're obviously going to want to make sure stream video and stream audio are turned on. Then you're going to want to go ahead and click on uh, custom controller and click enable custom controller. And then click the blue text right there. And this is where you can actually edit what you want the on-screen controls to look like. Personally, I'm fine with the way they look already. Um, and then you're just going to want to exit to that. And then you can do whatever you want with the rest of the settings. I just left them all how they were. And then you're going to want to click on connect. And like I said, there's an ad-free version of this. I already got an ad right here. Um, they're just ads you can close out of. They're not. They're not. Never video ads, so that's good. 
um but like i said there's an ad free version so you could click no ads if you want to pay the three dollars to get ad free i'm not going to be doing that and then you just want to go ahead and click on connect now you're just going to want to wait for your xbox to appear here now if you did uh enable remote connections on your xbox it should eventually appear here uh, if it doesn't appear after about 15 seconds you're going to want to click that refresh symbol in the top right corner all right guys so as you can see my xbox popped up right there bryson xbox now i did cross out my ip because it will show your console's ip so i just went ahead and crossed that out but what you're going to want to do is just click on your xbox then it'll take you to a black screen for a few seconds and load into your xbox and then you just want to double tap on the screen and as you can see the on-screen controls will pop up now i'm just going to go ahead and launch minecraft now i will be back when it is done loading Alright guys, so while Minecraft finished this loading, I just wanted to say a couple few th other things. First of all, uh, I do believe you have to be on an iOS device, so an iPhone or iPad. I'm not sure if this works on Android. Um, second thing is this does not work on the Xbox Series X or S. Um, I don't know if I said that before, but it does not work on the Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. It only works on the Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Xbox One X consoles. Um, they have not said if they will be supporting the Xbox X slash S later on. They haven't said. But right now, it does support only the Xbox One consoles, which I feel like is fine because most people are still using the Xbox One. But if you are playing on the Xbox Series X or Series S and this isn't working for you, that is why. It just is not supported. It will not work. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Alright guys, so now that Minecraft has finished loading in, I'm just going to be showing you guys some gameplay right here. As you can see, I am using the on-screen controls, and I will also show you another uh, point of view with my phone to show you that I'm not using a controller. I will actually show you touching my screen, or show you me touching the screen to prove that I am actually using on-screen controls. Um, but as you can see, I just got an ad there. Like I said, they're never video ads, they're always just pop-up ads, you can close out of them right there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm playing Minecraft. So let me go to the other point of view. All right, guys. So yeah, right here, I'm recording on my phone. As you can see, I am using, um, I'm, I only have one hand because I'm recording with the other one. But yeah, as you can see, I am, you know, using the on-screen controls to play. So yeah, it definitely does work. It would be better if you uh, had both hands though, obviously. Alright guys, so then when you're done playing and you want to disconnect, you're just going to want to go and click the Xbox Home button, which is the top of that like triangle of squares in the middle of the screen, and you're just going to click on the slimmest is remote playing or streaming it, or whatever your gamer tag is, and you're just going to click disconnect, and then it's going to say fail to reconnect on the app, but that's just because you disconnected, and then you just want to go and close the app, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.